I'm also not a huge fan of Jupyter Notebooks and the whole uh, notebooks creation because I, I'm I'm I think that when you're when you want to create something for production and do it in production, then Jupyter Notebooks uh, they're they're yeah they're not optimal. Jupyter Notebooks are nice to to do some exploration to do some yeah some some testing or, or some prototyping but i'm guessing or, or from my experience when you want to when you want to really uh, bring something into production you create code and uh, don't do it in notebooks and so what they said here <coughs> sorry um so once you have a notebook how do you how do you basically create this or, or, or change this from a notebook to something else? You run it, you make a copy, uh, convert it to a Python file, and then remove all the print statements. And then uh, yeah, basically you're going... Hmm, um, basically you are uh, you're creating the whole, the whole thing, you're writing unit tests, make them pass, and then a cycle and refactoring cycle, and then... Uh, you test the whole thing. Uh, Chill says, I teach uh, future data analysts and data, I'm guessing so, uh, and they always do their stuff in notebooks. I force them to learn how to make real uh, Pi app. Yeah, because that's that's what that's exactly the thing most people think when you have when you when you can do stuff in notebooks um you're ready for production you're you're not ready for production because really in production what you uh, handling notebooks isn't the isn't the way that you automate stuff so it's good for data it's good for exploration for trying out things for uh doing a a master's thesis or a phd or whatever but if you want to run it in production and run it on 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 the the systems that are that are available then you will go and you will create a standalone script python or whatever or scala uh, if you're if you're thinking about spark um these are the these are the the tools that you or this is the the normal a cycle you start with a with a notebook because that is absolutely that makes sense that's easy you get direct feedback this is why i was why i like zeppelin for for spark so much you can try it out very very easily you can load into da load in data you can manipulate data and look at the results but if I, I would not use this in production i mean maybe for a for a quick batch job to to uh to uh, look into some or to explore some data and try some stuff out, but not not for thing. Um, 